Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Arkan here. I'm with another flip-flop conversion topic. Today we see conversion of the T flip-flop. All right, converting T flip-flop, which is the toggle flip-flop, to number one, let's say to SR flip-flop. All right. So now in this case, you have the available flip-flop that is the T flip-flop. And the required flip-flop uh, is the what? Is the SR flip-flop. So for T, you have to draw the excitation table, and the excitation table for T is as uh, zero, one, one, zero. All right. This is the excitation table for T. The characteristic table you have to draw now is for the SR. So you have a QN. You have S and you have R as the inputs, and the output will be Q and plus one. Fine. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and finally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now uh, the the characteristic table, the output Q and plus one. I'll be copying from the book. 0, 0, 1, don't care, 0, 0, 1, don't care, 1, 0, 1, don't care, 1, 0, 1, don't care. So this is what? This is the characteristic table for SR flip-flop. Now you do what? You make the combinational table where you match the QN and QN plus 1 from the characteristic table of the required flip-flop with the uh, excitation table of the available flip-flop and for that now you design the you, you now come to know about the input t all right so zero zero present state next state is zero zero t is zero 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 again zero zero one is one now zero don't care so we don't have that condition over there so we place a don't care over here simply 1 1 will result in 0, 1 0 is 1, 1 1 is 0, and 1 don't care is again I don't care because we don't have such type of thing over there. Now what do you do? You uh, simplify the, you, you find the Boolean expression for T in terms of S and R. With the help of K map, we do that, okay? All right, now you fill them up. So it is 0, 0, 1, don't care. 0, 0, 1, don't care. 0, 1, 0, don't care. Fine. Now, what can you have? We can have two groups. Uh, one is, let's say, this one, and the second is this one. All right, so this is now for T. T is equal to what? Okay, is equal to the first group of this one. So you have a Q and complement and S. Q and complement S. Now or the second is Q and and it is what? It's R. Q and I need with an R. So that's about it. Okay. Now you draw the you draw the flip flop. So let's say I draw it over here. It, the available is T, all right? You have a clock pulse. This input, this is QN. This is QN complement. We need the QN complement as well, so let me write it with a different color. This is your QN complement. Now you need what? You need two N gates and an OR gate. So let's say I use the red color for this. Two N gates. Their output is then OR. And the OR output now is given as an input to the T flip flop. All right. And to, to the first uh, AND gate, we have S. And we have this is S. And then we have Q and complement to it, which is in the black color. So I take it from here. And I give it to our head. To the next, we have R and we have QN. So let's say this green color represents R also. 
and Qn is represented with this blue color. Is that okay? Now this circuit will act as an SR flip-flop. This is the clock input, all right? We have used that we have utilized the T flip-flop to, to function as what? To function as an SR flip-flop. The next in order is let's say converting T flip-flop to a JK flip-flop. JK, so we'll be changing these and these as well. And also these. So these will be changing and this thing will be removing. All right, now converting, S or, uh, converting the T flip-flop to JK flip-flop. You have J over here and you have K over here. Now the, the required flip-flop is the JK flip-flop for which now you have to draw the characteristic table. All right, so the characteristic table is, I will be copying it from the book. Zero, zero, triple one. Zero, zero, triple one. Zero, one, zero, okay? Zero, one, zero. All right, now you have what? You match the present state and the next state, which means QN and QN plus one. From the characteristic table of the required flip-flop with the excitation table of the available flip-flop, and you write down the equation for what? For the T flip, for the T input, all right? So let's match it, okay? When you have a zero, zero, you have a zero over there, all right, you have a zero over there. You have a, a zero, zero again, a zero. You have a zero, one, so t is one. When again, zero, one, t is one. One, one, t is zero. One, zero, t is one. One, one, t is zero. And again, one, one, so t a, one, zero, sorry, so t is one. All right. Now, I believe you can uh, solve it yourself from here. If you can, so pause the video over here and try it yourselves, okay? If you cannot, then you continue with me. And if you can, so pause the video and do it, and then finally come back and check with me. Fine. Now you do what? You simplify the Boolean expression. You find the Boolean expression for, for this input T with the help of a car now map, all right? In terms of Q, N, J, and K. Okay, now, now you fill it up. So you have a 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and then a 0, 1. Now we have two groups. So this is, let's say, the first, and this is the second. And this is for T, all right? So T is equal to the first group is QN complement J or with QN K. QN complement J plus QN K. Now this is what? This was the same as the, the, the SR flip-flop, all right? But still, if you want me to draw the diagram, I won't draw it, all right? I won't write because this is now the same uh, as S and R, uh, as we, we as we just saw. You need to replace J by S by J and R by K. That's about it. The next is converting T flip flop to D flip flop. This is the last conversion. This we have to remove. Okay, this is the third. Converting T flip flop to the D flip flop, all right? So which means that the required is D flip flop and for which you have to draw the characteristic table. You have QN, you have QN plus one and you have D. So the input combination zero, 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 one, one, zero and one, one. And D is what? D is same as the QN plus one, zero, one, zero, one. You know this. 
Now you match the QN and QN plus 1 from the characteristic table with the excitation table and you, you find the input T. So 0, 0, you have a 0. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 1. And 1, 1 is 0. So this is it. Now you find the expression for it, uh, which would be like this, a four cells map, zero, one, zero, one. This is the expression for T in terms of Q and N D. You fill it, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. This is the exclusive OR operation. We don't have any groupings. So T is equal to QN exclusive OR with D. Okay, we treat them individually and this is the checkboard configuration. QN exclusive OR with D. Alright, and you can see from the truth table as well, this is the odd ones detector. Now, the table, the, the, the block diagram for it. So let's say this is your uh, T flip flop, all right? So this is the input T, the clock pulse clock, QN, QN complement. So we need an exclusive OR gate. This is the exclusive OR gate, the output of which is given to T. And you have the input to it as D and QN. Now this T flip-flop, if you're giving it inputs in this form, this will act as, uh, a, as a D flip-flop. So we have converted T flip-flop to D flip-flop. That's all about this lecture, that's all about today, and that's all about the conversion of flip-flops. See you in the next lecture, maybe with some new topic. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Goodbye.